This is more or less all from my side, and I wish to introduce Manuel Di Stefano, Secretary of State in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Manuel, the floor is yours, please. Thank you so much. Well, first of all, good morning, everyone, and thanks to be here in, in presence and online. Honorable guests and dear friends, it is my great pleasure to join today's Infrastructure Forum, a relevant initiative of the seventh edition of the MED Dialogues, to address challenges and build opportunities in the field of infrastructures between Mediterranean countries. Let me express my sincere gratitude to the Italian Institute for International Political Studies for taking the, this initiative by creating the bridge among us, Ambassador Massolo was talking about just a few seconds ago. We are fully aware of how building infrastructures and energy networks for the transfer of goods, people and factors of production is a top priority for the Mediterranean countries. The Mediterranean Sea is not a border between our countries. Instead, it unites them in a common history and a shared future. It is facing today historical challenges calling for joint efforts. The wider Mediterranean represents a key area in which complex dynamics unfold, while political turmoil, social upheaval, and regional tensions keep on affecting the region's stability, the Mediterranean remains a platform of strategic relevance, offering crucial economic, infrastructural, and energetic opportunities. In addition to these challenges, new ones such as demographic trends, the rapid pace of urbanization, environmental threats, migration, terrorism, are growing and require us to engage jointly at all levels. Not to mention the pandemic, which is having a huge impact on transport of goods, forcing to rethink even the production value chains. In this ever increasingly complex scenario, characterized also by the rapid rise in population, it is crucial to develop the sectors of public works, civil and industrial buildings, environmental policies, and water networks. Statistics confirm the growing importance of the Mediterranean Sea in European ports traffic. It is interesting to stress that the competitiveness of the southern Mediterranean ports is currently growing at a pace higher than that of the ports of the northern shore. The doubling of the Suez Canal also represents a further factor of growth and competitiveness of the Mediterranean Sea on the main international trade routes, with new records in terms of volumes of goods and number of ship crossings. This tells us that we all need to improve the quality of maritime and land infrastructure and logistic services and create better environments for investments. The Mediterranean region is at the core of increasing geopolitical interests due to its privileged position, but also as a primary source of energy resources. A situation that has recently attracted the consistent inflow of foreign investments in infrastructures and future trends will intensify the process. In this context of increasingly global efforts to reduce pollutions and mitigate climate change, infrastructures are also called to share the burden and deliver new solutions for the sustainable mobility of people and goods in accordance with the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Italy is well positioned in the area to play a pivotal role. Our vision for the region is inspired by the ultimate goal of promoting not only the security of the region, but also its stability and prosperity. In this regard, Italy's commitment to the Mediterranean has been directed towards three major goals. First, managing the ongoing crisis through inclusive political processes under the aegis of the UN, with full respect of the local ownership and a non-patronizing approach. Second, promoting a positive agenda through economic cooperation, interconnectivity, sustainable growth, and social development. Third, fostering a new paradigm for the management of migration flows, which includes both solidarity and security. Part of our comprehensive approach envisaged also a specific focus on cooperation initiatives, humanitarian assistance, institutional and security capacity building, and crucial, all crucial sectors in which Italy has invested for the future of the Mediterranean region. 
our engagement in the southern flank of the Mediterranean covers all countries in the region. In Libya, we keep supporting national authorities and the United Nations in order to complete effectively the ongoing political transition. We are also strengthening our bilateral engagement with key partners such as Tunisia, Morocco and Algeria, and we encourage more regional cooperation in the Maghreb. In Lebanon, we support the institutions, the economy and armed force through our contribution to the CIDRI conference and UNIFIL. As for the Middle East peace, pro peace process, we remain firm in our commitment to keeping the dossier at the core of the international agenda, and we continue to support all initiatives aimed at resuming peace negotiations between all parties. In the Gulf, while encouraging dialogue to de-escalate regional tensions, we have enhanced our relations both at the political and economic levels. In more general terms, I would like to underline that Italy, as the third largest economy of the Eurozone, the eighth largest in the world, and one of the top five countries in the world with a manufacturing surplus exceeding $100 billion, can be considered one of the most favorable access points to European markets for Middle East and Mediterranean countries. Out of the total number of projects of Italian engineering, architecture, consulting and construction companies, more than 15% are in the Middle East and about 10% in the Mediterranean Africa. The majority of our companies undertakes complex infrastructure such as roads, bridges, subways, railways and hydroelectrical plants. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, with its network of 200 embassies and consulates around the globe, is at the front line supporting economic in integration and cooperation abroad. Together with Italian business associations and companies, the Minister of Sustainable Infrastructure and Mobility, the Minister of Economic Development and the Italian Trade Agency. Italy has an important role to play by working with MED countries to deepen the level of implementation and the integration of energy and transport infrastructures in the area, as well as to identify the most profitable collaboration tools to foster collaboration between private and public European operators with the counterparts of the Mediterranean and Middle East countries for the establishment of a common development policy. Let me express again my thankfulness to all organizers, speakers, and participants of today's forum for their fruitful discussion and policy guidelines that will certainly be explored in depth by the Italian Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation to develop strategies in support of the infrastructural development of the MENA area. I thank you all. Thank you very much.